If the Mets want to be playing in the World Series in 2017, it all comes down to starting pitching. Opening day star Noah Syndergaard came into camp with Ed Muscle in hopes of throwing the ball even harder. In 2016, his fastball averaged 97.9 miles per hour, which was best among qualified starters. In his first spring training start, he debuted a devastating changeup, which got batters to Tasmanian Devil into the batter's box. Jacob DeGrom has been the Mets' most consistent starter since his 2014 debut. He was the Rookie of the Year and fouled it up in 2015 with an amazing All-Star appearance in which he struck out three batters on 10 pitches. In the playoffs, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with other aces and came out victorious. He consistently takes the mound and goes deep into games. Without a doubt, he will be in the running for Cy Young. The Dark Knight rises again in 2017 as Matt Harvey looks to become a two-time Comeback Player of the Year. Make no mistake about it, Harvey is very motivated to get back to his 2013 best pitcher in the game form and wants to be the man again. Harvey will never back down in any situation and wants the ball in his hands in all big spots. As of now, he's flying under the radar, but come the regular season, he will once again be recognized as one of the best in baseball. Steven Matz is coming off injury again, but when he is healthy, he is one of the best lefties in baseball. In 131 one third innings pitched in 2016, he struck out 129 batters and showed he could be one of the best in the league. He comes into the season as the Mets' number four starter, but could easily be a number two on any other team. The biggest question mark coming into the season is Zach Wheeler. He has not pitched in a big league game since 2014. If he can return and pitch 150 innings, the Mets will be in great shape. If this staff can remain healthy, they will be the best in the league, maybe even the best of all time and they will be playing in the World Series. No one stands in their way, not even the Cubs. Remember, the last time the Mets played the Cubs in the NLCS, it turned out well for them, as the Cubs hitters could not touch the Mets pitchers. For Elite Sports New York, I'm Nick Durst.